So today we're going to talk about continuous lines. These drawings are super fun. But what are they? What is a continuous line? Well, let's first start with the word continue. So when something continues, it keeps going. The same is true for a continuous line. It's a line that keeps going. So a continuous line drawing is a drawing that you create with one continuous, one line that keeps going. So the only rule of this continuous line drawing is that once your pencil goes down to your paper, you cannot pick it up until your drawing is finished. All right, let's take a look at a few examples and then we'll get started on All the right, project. Let's start with something like a face. Now remember, you can't pick up your marker or your crayon until your drawing is finished. So all of your lines pretty much connect together. So I'm drawing this with one line that continues around the entire face. And you have to kind of like figure out how you're going to get from one place to the other without picking up your marker. Sometimes you can trace over the same line just to, um, you know, help you get from one place to the other. Oops, that's pretty wide. Now I need to get to this other eye. Um, these drawings are a lot of fun because um, you can kind of relax a little bit. Uh, you're not necessarily worrying too much about, um, you know, perfection as much as trying to get that um, image figured out. I'm going to try to edit this a little bit. All right, so there is um, a face with one continuous line. All right, so now we're gonna create that owl that I just showed you. Um, for the video purpose, I'm turning my paper sideways, um, but I would definitely recommend having your paper tall um, because you would really wanna have like a nice big owl that fills up the paper. Um, but for the video purpose, uh, I feel like this format fits the screen a little better. So we're I'm gonna go this way. Um, all right, so remember once your pencil goes down onto your paper, you can't pick it up, so you have to um, continue with that same line. Um, and you could do a couple of these. Remember that, you know, it's, it's meant to be kind of fun, free flowing and relaxing. So the first shape we're going to start with uh, goes up, around, down, and we're going to go back up. I like to retrace my same line. All right. So here's where it gets tricky. You're going to go down, make like a point, like a, um, a triangle for his beak. And then we're gonna make his eyes. So one big eye. And then I like to do a couple circles in between. I really feel like that looks like a nice owl eye. Two, just traced over that same line again. So there's the owl's face. He's already looking great. Now we have to decide what we're going to do for the feathers. Are you going to do pointed feathers, curved feathers, square feathers, a combination of both? Um, I think for this one, I'm going to do some pointed feathers. So I'm going to go up and down like a triangle. Now, um, leave this center part open because the what we're creating right now is like the wings of the owl. Um, so we want to make sure that we're keeping that middle part empty so we can uh, create some other feathers in the center. Like the feathers that would be on like his belly. All right, we're going to go back over. we got to find a way to come back to the other side. I'm going to go up, trace around his beak, around his eye, and then go again with my other feathers. I'm kind of stretching those feathers outside of the actual owl body that I created. That's okay. Zigzag lines, going up and down, not picking up my marker, going all the way down to the end. And then we're going to go to the center, like I was talking about those feathers that would be in the center of his body. Um, I'm going to do some curving lines just to give it some more variety. Remember, variety is what's going to make your project um, exciting to look at, right? So I wouldn't want to do another zigzag because I did that for his wings. All right, I'm gonna leave this part empty. I'm gonna go back up and then recreate those zigzags um, on the top of his head for the feathers. So if I did like a curving line, I might do um, the same there. Okay, so there is my owl. 
the next step is to go in um, and to start adding some color. So this is when you're gonna need your markers, your crayons, or your colored pencils.